the Airbnb, which has air conditioning, thankfully. Look how pretty this bedroom is, it's so cute. Nice and spacious. And this is our bedroom. This is actually the pull-up couch, but it's in its own room, thankfully, so you're not in like a dining room as per usual. Super nice. And then the bathroom is so big and spacious. <laughs> the room with a bidet and the shower, beautiful. Looks very nice. Then there's actually this long hallway. And look at this huge kitchen. We won't be using it, but we'll be using this table to do our makeup. <laughs> so yeah, it's actually a super nice Airbnb and they were really sweet. So if I can, I'll try to link it down below in the description box. Highly recommend this spot. This is Piazza Santa Trinita. This is basically where our Airbnb is. If you go this way, you can have a nice view of Ponte Vecchio. Oh my gosh, just down our street is Ponte Vecchio. Literally, we walked like two minutes and here we are. I can't believe it. I have a delicious gelato from this Gelateria Santa Trinita. Pistacchio, pistachio, peanuts, and chocolate. Okay, I'm gonna eat it before it melts. Mm -hmm. As you can see, there's Ponte Vecchio behind me, which can only mean one thing. We are in a Firenze. Firenze. I'm finally back for the first time in many years and I haven't slept over in literally like nine years, guys, since my tour days a long time ago when I was in my 20s. <laughs> so guys, I'm so happy to be back in Florence. We literally kicked off things right with a beautiful gelato because Firenze is the birthplace of gelato. And now we're just gonna explore a bit because we arrived late from Como, so now we're gonna walk around, take in the sights, and yeah. My gosh, that looks so good. Guys, I'm getting pan forte. I literally love it. Yeah? Mm. We are in Piazza della Signoria, guys. This piazza, I remember getting lost here when it rained. I didn't say. Guys, we're, I'm actually so happy to be back. It's oh my god! Quite a while, and I feel like we didn't really. Explore it's more beautiful it. than I remembered it. It's I'm gonna like, be honest. It's very charming. It's more artsy. Yeah, it's, it's like more, more medieval. I don't know how to explain like God, the Renaissance, so the birth of the Renaissance, Renaissance place. Yeah. It's Renaissance. Oh. Renaissance, guys. We just had a really good gelato. That's why I'm in a good mood. <laughs> I'm so happy because I never got a good taste of it. I feel like. And I'm not there. It rained. Yeah. It rained when we were here when we were young, and I remember getting so lost. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Every city in Italy has its own characteristic yes. charm, yes. and I love it. I love the different vibes of Italy. We just love Italy. I can't so. wait for a good pasticceria, guys, because I want a good yes. breakfast tomorrow. So that's what I'm looking for. I to. can't wait for that good panini. Okay, Rome. Don't worry. It's just ten times bigger than Florida. Guys, just walking down the street and boom. I literally get goosebumps. Yeah, like it's so epic. It's honestly stunning. The Duomo. <laughs> Did we say that what yeah. we're talking about? The Duomo. <laughs> yeah, well, just Firenze in general, but the Duomo. Yes. It's like something else, guys. It's something else. Yeah. Remember when we were young, we walked up those steps over there and we took a picture near there? This was back in 2010, 2010. Now I feel like they have it blocked off so you can't walk there anymore. So it's interesting how things can change in such a short period of time. in Firenze and today we are going to get a delicious breakfast Buongiorno. or I should say a late breakfast because I, we like to sleep in guys I see straight <laughs> you're wondering where our mother is she is with us on this trip all the time all the time <laughs> but she just doesn't like to so be she doesn't like to be on camera all the much. time so she's like my boyfriend he doesn't yeah. really like to be filmed. he's camera shy <laughs> but I love so, to be on camera yeah you don't mind it so we are going to get breakfast from Gigi I believe it should be a good pasticceria so let's go Look, they even have these nice little 
tart. Oh, that papa looks so good too. This is a cornetto with marmelata, the torta sacer, which I like, which has apricot inside and it's chocolate. This is, what is this called? Budino di riso. Budino di riso, it's famous in Florence. And this is just a nice cake with chantilly cream. Looks very good. So we're waiting for a cappuccino here and we're at this bar. Gilly. Yum, a nice cappuccino with this delicious dessert. So Florence is famous for their leather goods, so at this market you can find a lot of nice leather things around here. See? Genuine leather. Very nice. So you're supposed to put a coin in it now. And if it falls through the gate, you're at this nose and it's good luck, so you'll come back. Or it's called Il Porcellino. Oh, it fell through. See, it fell through the gate. Did you rub his little snout? <laughs> Good. It's like a cute story. Oh. So I'm standing on Ponte Vecchio. This was built in 1345 and it was the first bridge over the Arno River. And it used to be used for various reasons, but today it is basically all jewelers that sell jewelry in these shops over here ever since the Medici came to town. So now you can find lots of places to buy gold and jewelry and very pretty things. So this is a very ancient bridge and it is one of the most iconic spots in all of Florence. Look at this umbrella with this little chihuahua face on it. That is so funny. I just got my favorite perfume, Vanilla Zanzero. They only make them in the small bottles now, so this was 12 50 euros, I believe. But I seriously love this perfume, and I always get this when I'm in Italy. Okay, so I got prosciutto crudo, crema di burrata, arugula, and crema di tartufa, which is a truffle cream sauce. So this is my lovely panino. This bread is actually called schiacciata, which is like the Florentine version of a focaccia bread. So it's a little bit harder than focaccia, not as soft, and it's really delicious. So you can get their set paninos that have certain names, or you can substitute things, or you can completely create your own, which is kind of what I did, because I was craving this, and it's just really delicious. <laughs> We just ate at that Gelateria dei Neri. I was a little bit stressed out because gelato melts so fast here, but I have to say it was one of the best gelatos that I've had so far. It was so delicious. I got the riso flavor because I feel like rice is pretty popular in Florence. I also got the salted caramel flavor because I think that's what they're known for is their caramel flavors, and it was really, really, really good. So I highly recommend that gelateria. Hi guys! So we actually had a, such a good idea to rest when it was super super hot out and now we're out again. It's about 7 o'clock and it's so fresh and beautiful. So we're just going for a walk and we're going to surround ourselves with the sights of Firenze. So I'm super excited. And that is the pretty church inside. Stunning. We are here at the Piazza Duomo. And guys, look, nobody's around. The key is just to find a nice little quiet corner and take some pictures without lots of people behind you. I feel like this hour is the best. It's about 8 o'clock. So the sun is set and the light's not in your face. It's just perfect. It's absolutely stunning here. Today we are going on a Tuscan wine tour. We're doing a tour well, of Tuscany and we're so excited. Yeah, we're very excited to do a Tuscan wine tour and get day drunk. I was saying <laughs> I was saying that like the first great. time. So yeah, so we'll see how okay. the day is gonna end up. Hopefully we're really Tuscany. Don't know. Yeah, we'll we wanna get Tuscan. We wanna get our mom to be led day drunk. Yeah. That's our goal today. Piazzale Michele 
Angelo for this gorgeous view of Firenze. You can see the Duomo, you can see everything. It is actually stunning from up here. So if you really want to pan around and chill, I highly recommend coming here. Ponte Vecchio, it's just absolutely beautiful. And I believe that they are not allowed to have skyscrapers in Florence because nothing can be higher than the Duomo. No. So as you can see, it is the highest building in all of Florence, so it really makes an impression. It's beautiful, look at that. We just saw bay leaves. Yeah. Bay leaves, yeah, a lot. Of, yeah. Wow. beautiful they are oh they're so cute because so honestly i never want to eat meat again really look how stunning these cows are they're gorgeous they remind me of like little deer faces they're so beautiful yeah and what's the name of the cows the breed kianina 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 so the kianina breed of cow they're so beautiful so there's san gimignano over there so we're having some bread and some cheese with some olive oil and some nice vinegar. This vinegar is a 13 year old vinegar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful. So we are drinking a Vernaccia San Gimignano. So this wine was mentioned in the Divine Comedy. Vernaccia di San Gimignano. It is a dry white wine and one of the oldest wines. It was very, very nice. Yanti, and then we have the reserve. So we're going to pick it up from the stem. Look at the color. Swirl. So you aerate it a bit. Smell it. And then we drink. This is the young one. Like the old one. Very nice. So this is a vineyard, but they also sell things like saffron. And she said for one gram of saffron, you need to go through 400 flowers. So 400 flowers for just one gram. That's why saffron is so expensive. I'm definitely going to buy some. It's really good in risotto. If you make a risotto, so with saffron, beautiful. So they call it zafferano. Buongiorno. Okay, you're already feeling this wine. Brilla. Yeah. It's tipsy. And I think we still have a lot more wine to taste, so we gotta taste it. We tried three wines so far. Three wines, and then we're taking a break. We're gonna go to San Gimignano, and then we're gonna go to another winery where we're going to taste another 12 or 13 wines. And then have a free course meal. Wow. So it's gonna be a long day of drinking. It's gonna be a nice day. We'll see, see how we feel by the end of Yeah. We'll see uh, how much more we're talking. Yeah. We're gonna be more talking. Have a sip. Yeah, it's just like go. So right now we are in San Gimignano. And we're going to do a nice walk in here and we're also going to go for a bel gelato. We're walking through San Gimignano. The medieval town. Uh, we were saying this would have been a great spot, spot for Game of Thrones. I know. It's it's like location. literally, like you step back in time. The 1300s is when it kind of came to life, and it has preserved since, since then. Yeah. So there you go. Very interesting. Very beautiful. Yeah. Of a population that was called the Trastevere. Wow. Oh yeah. Because they lived in Tuscany before the Rome. Champion Gelato 20, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, the real San Gimignano Gelato Master. I got Zabaglione and Vinsanto, and Mirtillo, and Rigotta. Mm. Under the Tuscan sun right now, 
It is such a nice beautiful day. It's really hot, but it's not too bad. You're actually fresh in the shade. It's so pretty here. We just went to one winery. We had one of the most world famous gelatos, which is really good. And now we are on our way to a second winery to have some wine and some lunch. And it's just a very beautiful day. So I'm really happy to be spending it with my lovely sisters and lovely mother. You can't look at me on this lunch without yes. anxiety. <laughs> so we had such a beautiful day so far. Unfortunately, I got a little bit emotional, guys, when we went to the winery because we saw those beautiful Florentine cows. They were stunning, and then the lady kind of said that the ones on the next row were like ready for slaughter. And it just made me so emotional. Like one of the cows looked at me in like in the eyes and it just looked like such a beautiful little animal. So I was just really, I don't know, it just really got to me. I honestly don't want to eat meat anywhere. It sucks being such an animal lover, but also being such a foodie because there's such like a contradiction between the two things. But I don't know. I honestly just have no desire whatsoever to eat meat anymore. I was so depressed. They were gorgeous, stunning cows. They had faces that almost looked like deers. I don't know, they were just so clean and beautiful and like they were treated really well there so I can only imagine how horrible the conditions are on some other slaughterhouses so it was just sad but we're having some Tuscan soup with our wine tasting. This is Ribolita. Looks very good. It has like bread and mini it's basically like a minestrone with vegetables. We're having the lasagna and we're going to get truffle olive oil on it because that just makes everything better, no? Wow, beautiful. No smell of bread. That pesto is so good. Oh my She's over 21 bucks. Third legal question. Do some do your boyfriend husband with you and big? No. Yeah. It doesn't exist. Not easy. <laughs> Last legal question. You're gonna say Do some part of your family or relative that here today? No. Yes. No. no. But this sounds great. Is anyone <laughs> doing it? This wine, without this biscotti it means nothing. It's tradition here to enjoy the wine with the biscotti. Cantuccini with almonds. So what happened here when we have the sweet wines, the biscotti, the volunteer lady, more than 21, <laughs> no family, no husband, <laughs> boyfriend. It's very simple. I take my wine, I show my biscotti to her, and I take the biscotti to the wine for about 10, 15 seconds. And then I can go one, two, three, four. Five. I love my job. This is not <laughs> Eleven thirty-three. We go in front of the volunteer dress uh, and we enter half a biscotti. And we go, take the biscotti. Now take the glass of wine with the other hand. Have a little taste. A little bit more time. <laughs> Make sure it's good. And after we give a little piece of wow. meat. Oh. Guys, an applause for her. Oh. So my telephone number is in I've got one. How was that, Lisa? Very good. Was that the best cantucci you've ever tried? Yeah.